Hello everybody, this is Leo. Thanks for watching the video. Well, we're playing something uh, uh, different today. Well, different for you who watch the videos, not different for me. It's called Planet Coaster. Now, this is uh, one of my favorite games. It's one I keep coming back to time and time again. It doesn't matter uh, uh, what else I get interested in or I really like to play. I always come back to this one, and it's because it's a creative game. It allows you to go in and nearly blade of grass by blade of grass, not quite to that level of detail, but almost, it lets you build an amusement park. Now, there are several different modes of play. You can play it in uh, these challenge modes and real world modes, but I like to play it in sandbox mode because it really lets you be creative. Now, this is my park. I'm gonna pause it real quick so we can have a quick look around at the overview of it before we actually get into any details. Now, um, let me go ahead and set the time here, or the lighting, so that we can see what's going on. We're gonna set it to 10 a.m., one of the many, many things that the game allows you to do. Now, I've been working on this for a pretty good bit of time, um, but I'm taking my time with it. I'm not going really, really fast. And I've got a little story in my mind built up about this park and it's uh, what it is and its place in the world. Now, the map that I'm playing on is called City because it's got a city in the background. And uh, I, I like this map because it's relatively flat. You've got plenty of room to, to build. And uh, you, can, uh, you can pretty much do whatever you want. Now, let me give you a little background of the story. This park started out as a small park. Now this area over here that I'm that I've been building on with this uh, roller coaster and all of these trees and rides right here is going to extend from this walkway here. Oh, forgive my uh, naughty hands; they don't do what I always want them to. From this walkway here out to the edge of the park, which is about here, over to this edge of the park, and you might can barely see that little white line down to this edge. This is all the original park, air quotes. Um, this is going to be very traditional, very um, uh, uh, small scale park. And the story behind it is it was built by this guy who just had a vision of just having a wonderful parkland uh, type of uh, uh, park. But it was bought out by dun, 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 the Evil Axiom Corporation. And there's their building. I haven't finished working on that. We'll go inside and take a look at it. Uh, but it's a work in progress. This whole thing is a work in progress. So anyway, what we're going to do is I'm going to take away the, uh, the uh, set lighting to you. And I'm going to lower myself down here to eye level. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to grab one of our visitors here. And these are called, uh, what are they called? The game calls them, or the developers calls them, call them something specific, but I'm going to pick one. This guy's name is Rusty Angel. Uh, he's heading to Syllogism, which is the name of the roller coaster. So that's a good one. Let's uh, select the guest camera on him. Let's select first person so we can see exactly what he sees. And we're going to go into the park. Now, um, I'm going to turn the volume up here just a little bit. Settings, we're going to go to audio master volume. Let's turn that up to about 65%. Okay. And let's pick us up another... Uh, person to follow around here and see where they're going. Anyway, this is, who is this? Uh, I don't know who it is or where they're going. We're just going to walk through their eyes. Now, um, the lights here, every one of those I placed, every one of these trees I placed, every bush I placed, every um, ride I placed, every bit of decoration, it's, that's just the extent to how um, creative it allows you to be. Now you can decide how wide these walkways are. This is a major thoroughfare going from the entrance to the main attraction, which is this roller coaster back here. But it also takes you by um, the uh, bumper cars here. 
course, there's some people sitting on the uh, benches there. Now, those balloons they have, they only have them because I put a shop in that sells balloons. And you have any number of shops. You have shops that sell souvenirs, hats. Um, you also, as you can see on the path up here, you have trash. People just throw their trash on the ground. <laughs> so I've hired janitors who, you know, are going to come around and pick up that trash. Um, of course, sometimes it takes them a few minutes to get there. And what I really should do, and I'll show you, I'm going to do that right now. I should really place uh, some uh, trash cans along here so that people won't be throwing Well, see, there's a trash can up there, but they're hitting the, they're throwing it back here. So let's set a trash can a little closer back here. So we go, trash can is considered a scenery for some reason. We go to our path extras, and I use for this part, except for certain areas, go to the bins, I use these park, these generic park bins. And the reason I do that is uh, because they're generic. They're what, you know, a guy building a park and trying to save money where he can would build. Um, but we'll go here to the bumper cars for a minute and take a look now. Here's all the people lined up. Oh, here's the wishing tree that I put in just for uh, decoration. And you see that people are coming up here and they're all lined up, queued up for the bumper cars. And there's the bumper cars. Now, I can if I want. I'm going to pause this so it makes grabbing one of these people easier. No, I don't want to select the building. Well, it's going to make me select the building. Well, we're not going to do that. I don't want to uh, make this a tutorial on how to uh, design and create buildings. But there's the bumper cars. Now, over here, this is a thing called Wild Blue. And if you've ever been to a uh, amusement park, you've seen a ride similar to this, um, where it allows people to ride on it. All right, it is now noon. The reason I know that is because my park open it opens at noon, uh, closes at mid or closes at 10 p.m., opens at noon, and uh, that way I get to enjoy the lighting effects. Uh, and I get to see it during the daytime and at night. Now, everybody gets off of the ride. People get on the ride. And you can adjust the timings of a ride. You can adjust some of the things. Anyway, people just run over there to jump on the ride. And uh, once they're all on, the operator back here in her little, uh, her little uh, uh, booth starts the ride up. And it just takes off like uh, uh, any ride that you would expect. Alright, so there's two of the rides. Now, up here, I have, of course, what you're going to have at any carnival or amusement park is you're going to have a carousel. Now, the carousel is back here. Uh, it's almost hidden. It's called the Venetian Carousel. And uh, it's hidden pretty much by this garden here. Which, I placed every one of these uh, bushes every little patch of flowers I place and as you can see it's a it's a pretty uh, carousel and uh, it's for family I mean it's, it's rides are, are rated on excitement among other things now here's the headquarters of the evil axiom axiom corporation which has bought out this park and as I develop this park you're going to see uh, it become a little darker, a little grimier, a little grungier, a little more commercial than this area of the park is. And like I said, this is all a work in progress. So inside here, um, this is where my main vendor area is. This is where you can come in and you can get some uh, some Pip Shop water. Pip Shot is one of the game's brand names. And those people walking around with hamburgers, they came from Chief Beef. There's Chief Beef. That's where you can get hamburgers and stuff. Uh, this is uh, Pip Shot Smoothies, I think. Again, that's one of the brands. Uh, this is Cosmic Cow. What is this? Is this, uh, this is ice cream. Pip Shot. Uh, I'm not sure. There's just some juice. Pip Shot Juice. Uh, this is Hot Dog Squad. You can get hot dogs here. Uh, Gulpy. Which Gulpy is this? 
don't know if it's Gopi Energy or Gopi Soda. That's one of the brands. Mexilini, you can get your tacos and Mexican food here. Gulpy something or other, another Gulpy brand. Uh, this is, uh, what is this? Uh, Monsieur Fritz, there's a French fries. And this is uh, another Gulpy. This is Pizza Pen. And then we have Cosmic Cow Milkshakes. Tiki Cheeky. It's Chicken Stand. And this is Pip Shop Water again. That brings us back around to the um, the beginning of the of the uh, or where we started from. So now, as you can see, this is a uh, very commercial um, kind of uh, corporate office building here. And up these steps, there goes one of my janitors we were talking about earlier. Got two janitors going up there. I don't know why. Uh, Anyway, so as you go up, you go through various floors. Let me get back to my. Now, this is the restaurant floor, which the game allows you to have a restaurant. And I'm going to show you the actual restaurant is right here. That's the actual restaurant um, um, node. Uh, so, whatever you build to be the restaurant is just scenery. That's all this is a scenery. Oh, they're up here to keep it clean around the restaurant. Okay, good job, boys. Uh, this is a staff building. This is where my staff comes to rest, take their break. Uh, there's a, This is where the uh, there's a first aid station in case you're feeling sick. Restrooms, more restrooms, plenty of restrooms. Uh, you come around here and there's uh, our uh, Souvenir stand, just a memento is the brand name. Looney Bloons, that's where people get their blooms at. And Hats Fantastic, where people get their hats at. So, now if we go up to the next floor of this building, this is the hotel. Now, the actual hotel, again, is just a node, like the uh, like the restaurant is. And all of the, none of this is actually hotel rooms. It's... Uh, it's uh, just decoration, but I have went and made actual rooms inside here so that it's not a total fake. And I'm in flying camera mode now, which is hard for me to control. So anyway, we go up to the next floor. Now the next floor is just decoration. There's nothing really here. It's just supposed to, wait a minute. It's just like, you know, supposed to be office space. And we'll go up to the next floor and it's office space. We'll go up to the next floor, it's going to be office space. But I'm, I'm not just not done with this yet. This, uh, and so up here is the top floor where people can climb to. And they do. I've got this little item here. This is called a, what is it called? A Vista Point. This attracts people to come up and look at the view so they can see, you know, look out over uh, the park from a good vantage point. And you can put these Vista points anywhere you want. Uh, but I wanted it there so it would draw people up here and I, I could have activity. Um, so let's go and look at the uh, roller coaster and we'll take a quick, we'll take a ride on the roller coaster. Now, this is one of my early designs. I designed this, oh God, maybe a year ago. And uh, it's not the greatest. I was, I'm still to this day learning how to uh, uh, create roller coasters. It's not the easiest thing in the world. It's a little complicated. So this is the entrance and you see there's a, a train just pulled in. The people who are lined up and waiting for this train get to board. And what we're going to do, we're going to pause it. I'm going to get into first person mode with this person so that we can watch and, the, and we can ride the coaster. And here we go. Now, uh, this is a wooden coaster. There are many, many, many different types. And if you don't want to build a roller coaster, you can just select one of the many blueprints that are modeled after a real world roller coaster. Now, this one I built. Um, and uh, every curb, every elevation, every light, every tree, uh, I place them. I put them and coasters are rated based on 
how exciting they are, or how nauseating they are, or how scary they are. And you want to try to always hit a, uh, a happy medium as far as your roller coasters go. Now this coaster station up here, this uh, big white building, I designed that. Um, and what we're going to do is now we're going to take a ride in the daytime. I think that's what we're going to do. So let's set this to 10 a.m. Let's wait for the train to come in. Well, let's take a look around the park in the daytime. There's the roller coaster. The name of the roller coaster is Syllogism. Now down here is an area that I'm working on. This is my current area. And this is just a little plaza for the tropical theme. There are several different themes that you can use in the game. And this is so... We're way over here in this building. I have a lot of vendors and I have bathrooms and I have, you know, places to get something to eat and something to drink and rest. This is just kind of out here uh, as a uh, as a uh, uh, satellite operation so that people have some place to go. Now, one thing I do need to put in here is an ATM machine. So let's go here to our ATM machines and uh, see here. I don't want it to interfere with my little lamp there, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put it over here, I think. Yeah, there's a good spot. Well, you got to have enough room for that whole square to go in. Which I'm not crazy about that way of doing things, but hey, it's, you know, it's their game. They can do it how they want. Um, but we're going to put in an ATM here and I'll put some kind of uh, decoration around it, some kind of building around it sooner or later. This just lets people draw more money than what they brought. When each person comes into the park, they come in with a certain amount of money and when they run out of money, they leave unless you have ATMs. And I have ATMs, an ATM here and I have ATMs in this building, I'm pretty sure. Let's see, Chief Beef, Cosmic Cow, Mexilini, where is, do I have ATMs in this building? If I don't, I'm going to have to put one in there. But I thought I had one in there. I don't have an ATM in that building. Anyway, as you can see, there's a lot of detail that goes into this. It's a, a lot of uh, uh, planning. It's a lot of uh, deciding what you want things to look like. Uh, very... For me, it's very relaxing. It's very engaging. Um, and I just enjoy it. I really do. So if you've got some money that you want to spend and a fairly robust computer, I recommend this game to anybody who is interested in any kind of simulation games, who's interested in building or is interested in uh, being creative on the computer. Uh, this one's hard to beat. Well, that's it for this video. My name is Leo. Thanks for watching the video, and I look forward to seeing you next time.